Hello guys, welcome to Viva Barca, welcome to the home of everything Barcelona and welcome to the home of every Barcelona lover. Guys, there are many things we are going to be discussing in this episode, very interesting and very important that we should all know. Starting with this very important one guys, concerning Donnarumma's transfer. We quite remember, I just reported recently that Donnarumma will be going to Paris Saint-Germain of course. We have been linked with Donnarumma, we quite remember for the past couple of weeks and PSG successfully hijacked him, permit me to put it that way. Guys, something that we need to know, something that have just been revealed as per report is Barca was pressing in for Donnarumma over these past couple of days for a motif. Now, when we look at Wijnaldum's case, of course, which we never succeeded, there was an ulterior motive behind as per report, guys, something that have just been revealed and you as a fan, you'll be asking yourself why, why did that happen, of which we'll be discussing more on that as we progress. So the honest truth is what happened behind the scene is Baza were pressing in for Donnarumma over this past couple of weeks in order for super agent Mino Raiola, you know, to claim a higher fee for any of the clubs that will come for Donnarumma and succeed because we quite remember Donnarumma was not only linked to Barca, he was linked to Juve, he linked to Paris Saint-Germain and many other top European clubs and of course as per rumors that then have succeeded very well. As I said, we'll be answering that question, why did Laporta, of course we quite remember Laporta and Mino Raiola have a very good relationship ever since, why did Laporta choose to do that? We'll be discussing much on that as we move ahead. Then secondly, we are going to be discussing about Usman Dembele's future. We all know Usman Dembele is still to you know sign a contract extension with Barca. And of course, Barca are waiting for him to say something. Up to now, Dembele have not made a statement and negotiations are slowing down day by day. And as per reports that have just emerged, Barca are prepared to sell Dembele if a good offer comes in. Unless, as I said, unless. Dembele shows that he is willing to you know, extend his contract, then Barca are open to negotiations. So we're going to be discussing much more on that as we progress. Then we'll be discussing on some of the key players that Barca needs to offload if they are to sign some of those big money names that we need in this club you know, to progress. And of course, it has been reported that Barca are so confident of raising funds for that purpose of course we'll be discussing much more on that as we move ahead so guys as we get right into those interesting stories if you're new to this channel please ensure you click on that subscribe button below to always stay up to date with everything barcelona here on viva barca and also do ensure you watch this video to the end to get the insights of those stories you don't want to miss barca, barca, barca. according to ever reliable spanish journalist san antonio Barcelona's rather short leave operation for Gianluigi Donnarumma was actually done with an ulterior motive in mind. Apparently, the club piled pressure on Donnarumma's transfer in order to help his agent Mino Raiola in raising his agent commission from whichever club he finally signs in. For the past few days, the 22-year-old has been linked with a transfer to several clubs. Among these clubs was Barcelona, who were preparing an operation for the young starlet. However, it turns out that in truth, the club only did this to help his agent Raiola increase his fee in his players' eventual transfer. Barca's president Juan Laporta is said to have a great relationship with Raiola. Therefore, their involvement in the operation for Donnarumma with the alternative motive of helping his agent increase his commission on a transfer for the player with any other club could have been a stroke of genius by Laporta to further improve his relations. In doing so, Laporta was probably keen-eyed you know, for some of Raiola's other players in the future hoping to further smooth the negotiations going forward. Whether this report is reliable or not remains to be seen. However, one thing is clear. No matter the truth, PSG will have to pay a very high agent commission to Raiola, you know. Anything up to 20 million euros according to report, as he is notorious for, you know, commanding such a high fee. On to the next story of this episode, Barcelona are willing to part ways with Usman Dembele this summer unless he is prepared to renew his contract. The 24-year-old has been with Barcelona for the past four seasons, you know, but has been limited to just 118 appearances due to regular injuries. His current deal expires in less than 13 months, and it is reported that the Frenchman has yet to show any intention of extending his stay, you know. The Spanish giants are unlikely to stay patient for long and could sell him for 50 to 60 million, you know, euros in that range if there's no progress in the negotiations. Now, Dembele had a good 2020-21 campaign for the Blaugrana with 11 goals and 5 assists you know, from 44 appearances across all competitions. One of the big positives was his fitness. 
the Frenchman missed just six matches over the entire campaign due to injury concerns. Despite this, he does not appear convinced with the sporting project at the club and could be heading for the exit door this summer. The Catalan Giants are in advanced negotiations to land Memphis Depay and his arrival could pave the way for Dembele's exit. Dembele played you know, on board wings and the center forward role last term, but he was restricted to just 19 starts in the Spanish La Liga. The signing of Sergio Aguero and Depay anticipated arrival you know, could drop Dembele further down the pecking order next season. The attacker would ideally want to the assurance of a starting role and he would be better served you know, pursuing a fresh challenge elsewhere. The Blaugrana could secure a good price through Dembele sale. Considering his vastly improved fitness record last season, United are long-term admirers of the Frenchman and they came close to landing him on a season-long loan agreement last summer. Earlier in April, it was reported that the Red Devils were encouraged to make a fresh move after monitoring his progress over the season. They are now prioritizing a deal for Borussia Dortmund's Jenny Sancho. It remains to be seen whether they will be in the running to sign Dembele as well. And on to the final story of this episode, Barcelona's summer has gone as expected thus far. They have made a few key free signings and have bolstered the squad you know, as expected. The dream for Barca fans and management is being able to afford making a run at a key start. The main problem with Barca's plan is money. They don't have the funds at their disposal to make a real run at someone like Erling Haaland and so their short-term goal is to remediate that. Lautaro Martinez or Haaland reportedly remain the dream, but Barca know they need to sell some big name players to make it happen. The two that keep hitting the rumors are Owen Dembele and Antoine Griezmann. The Euros will determine some of the upper values of both players and time will tell if selling either, you know, could make up enough for a big star. So guys, with that we come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you did enjoy the video. If you haven't clicked on the subscribe button below, please ensure you do so to always stay up to date with everything Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, Fisca El Barca.